Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. In the shop today to put together a video in response to an email I got from Rick. Uh, Rick had been trying to follow uh, some of the uh, CorelDRAW tutorials that I've put on uh, the site uh, that uh, talk about how to create scroll saw patterns with CorelDRAW. And he got to one of the tools, uh, the interactive contour tool, and was struggling a little bit. What Rick was trying to do was create a heart-shaped box pattern for his scroll saw, and uh, the uh, interactive contour tool was throwing him for a loop. So what I wanted to do today is, is uh, build this uh, pattern and go into the shop and actually cut the box, and uh, hopefully that will clear things up a little bit because the interactive contour tool is a little bit of a challenge the first time. Okay, what I'm going to do is go over to my shape tool, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select my heart shape. And I'm going to go ahead and get this heart on the screen that we'll be working with today. And I'm going to hold down the control key as I draw this heart because I want a perfectly shaped heart. And the control key uh, does that for me. And now this is going to be the, and I just selected the P key to center that. This is going to be the outside wall of the box we want to cut. So obviously to make this pattern uh, do what we want to do, we have to have the... Uh, uh, the interior cut out also. And what a lot of people will try to do, I'm going to color this in to make it a little easier to see, is they'll take their pick tool and make a copy of this. And what they'll try to do is size this down to try to cut out this heart to make the box. And you'll see, especially up here at the top, it, the, when you resize it, it doesn't resize it proportionally to the heart. So if you were to try to cut this out, and I'll go ahead and do that, you would see that our walls would be misshaped. So you can't just make a copy of it, and that's where the interactive contour tool comes in especially handy. So let me back up here. Go ahead and delete this inner shape. And what we want to do is select this heart, come down to our interactive contour tool, which is in this flyout right here. And at the top, our menu bar changes, and we can select to either make our contour on the inside, the outside. In this case, we'll select the inside. Uh, you can ignore this selector right here because this is for making multiple contours and we just need one. And this will actually uh, determine the size of the wall that we want to cut. So in this case, I'll set this, uh, let's say, go ahead and set it to a quarter of an inch. And you can see down here on the screen that it took our heart shape and it made another set of wall uh, lines inside that that are exactly contoured to the outside walls. Now to get this cut out, uh, here on the screen the way we want it we have to go through a couple more steps and the next step is to come up here to arrange and break contour group apart and this just takes those two lines and makes them separate so when we do that nothing changes on the screen to see the changes we have to select our pick tool and do uh, back minus front up here in our tool menu and that will actually cut that center out of there and give us the uh, outside set of walls that we need for our box. Okay, now up to this point, Rick was doing real well. And the next, point, the next step is where almost everybody gets confused and why I wanted to throw this video together. Now what we need is another set of walls that will go inside this one for the interior of the box. The easiest way to do that is to go ahead and drag out another copy. Now with this copy selected, what we actually need is this inside set of lines to be the outside of the interior walls, if that makes any sense. And the way I'm going to do that is real simple. I'm going to select this copy, go up to Arrange, Break Curves Apart. And what that actually did is it created two shapes. Now, you can't see the small one because it's behind this one. But if I grab this one and move it, you'll see that I've got this small one behind it. So now what I have is an exact duplicate of the interior of this heart. With that selected, we can go back to our interactive contour tool, select inside, and in this case, we'll make it just a little bit thinner. We'll go down to 0.2 inches. Okay, again, with it selected, same as we did before, arrange, break contour apart, select the pick tool, that'll change our menu up here, back minus front, and now what we have is our interior set of walls. Okay, so that's the uh, method for creating the inside and outside of the walls so they'll fit together. Now what we can use this extra piece we had for is we can use this for the top and bottom of the box. 
Now, a lot of scrollers uh, won't cut this piece out separately. They'll actually cut out the center, and we'll, I'll show you this when we get into the workshop to actually build the box. But they'll cut out the, uh, the interior cut here of the heart, and then they'll just place, place a piece of wood glued to this one and cut out the bottom uh, as they uh, cut out the exterior of this wall. And I know that didn't make any sense, but I'll show you in the shop when we get there how to do it. So here's our pieces, and we can make a copy of this for our top and bottom. And at this point, if you wanted to um, uh, put some kind of design, say an initial in the top of the box, we could go ahead and select our, uh, in this case, our text tool. And I'll say we're going to put a G in the middle of this one. Size it to the size we want. We could go ahead and that might be a little big. Center it in one of the hearts. Do our cutout. And that would be the top of the box with the G in it. Okay. So that's what we'll look at as the how to design this pattern. And now what we'll do is we'll go into... Uh, the workshop and actually build this little heart box and uh, hopefully by the time you go through this tutorial plus the tutorial for building it it'll all make sense the interactive contour tool is definitely a challenge uh, the first time you use it because what you're seeing on the screen doesn't always change when you make a selection and that makes it kind of confusing okay now we'll move over to the workshop and get started